Tomag wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all existing memory with random data. Without his data, we can't prove he knew the Master Control Facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omag. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, requesting permission to interrogate Omag. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out of order. Sir, I think I can do it. Very well. You realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with OMAG, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. Good luck, Lieutenant. Keep me informed of your progress. Omag is in the brig, Lieutenant. Be careful. Omag has in the past demonstrated an ability to talk his way out of problems. Deck 8, brig. Hey, Monroe, I'm getting ready to do some weapons training. I'm kind of busy now. Can we chat later? Those Klingons on that star base were not honorable. Lurak, son of Gaelic, was once a powerful Klingon in the High Council. He resigned out of protest when the High Council agreed to temporarily join forces with the Romulans during the Dominion War. All of Lurok's loyal followers left the Empire as well. Now we know where they all ended up. I am currently looking at the weapon you took from Lurok. We should be able to put it to good use. The analysis was amazing. They're killing machines. Exactly. Dr. Elaine in zoology agrees. The physiology of the exomorphs is stunning. Each one designed perfectly for its job. Amazing. Certainly. But from what I've seen and heard, each of these amazing creatures of yours is getting bigger, stronger, faster, and to some degree or another, more deadly. Seems a fair assessment. I assume you have a point aside from voicing the obvious. I'm not making a point. I'm asking a question. Which is? What's next? I'm impressed that you battled your way through a Klingon starbase. You're due for a physical, Monroe. Plasma conduits needs a retrofit. Yeah, I heard two of them did. Engineering's still scrambling after the Idril rampage. What did you expect? I certainly didn't expect Idril to roam free around our hallways. What are you talking about? The female, Picard, just lets her wander free. At a minimum, she should be confined to quarters, or in the brig, if you ask me. Clea? She didn't have anything to do with that attack. Oh, it's Clea now. That's her name. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you know all about her. Ah, uh, I see. What? You're jealous. This isn't about her being an Idro. Jealous? I think you're just being blinded by her beauty. Calm down. She's definitely cast a spell on you. You're so predictable. Can I help you? I ran into your Ferengi friend in the hallway. He asked me to rub his lobes. Oh, disgusting. If that Ferengi pig bothers me again, I'll lead him to his new quarters in the port side airlock.
Hello, Omeg. I demand you release me. Let's make a deal, Omeg. Who's your customer? Sorry. Good customers are as rare as latinum. Treasure them. Rule number 57. What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? True. But your opportunity conflicts with my last contract. Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Contracts with other races can be honored when the profits are high enough. So, your client is not a Ferengi. <sighs> well, I won't tell you who he is. Rule 121. Everything is for sale, even friendship. If he were merely a friend, I'd rat him out right now. But he's a customer. New customers are like razorback green ones. They can be succulent, but sometimes they bite back. Rule 203. Hmm. So he's a new customer, and one you're afraid can find you. That makes him a powerful and deadly non-Ferengi with a starship. Or several. I never said that! I'm... I'm just not looking to expand into any new markets. Expand or die, Rule 95. Don't threaten me! You're risking a court-martial. Rule 62. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. But what about your career? I'm on the hazard team. You think I'll ever reach retirement? Please! I'm just a kindly merchant who risked his hard-earned latinum to help some scientists. After they brought you priceless artifacts. Of course. You think I'd take a risk that's not a sure thing? And you sold their artifacts on the black market, where they would be lost to history. Exactly. That's what keeps the profits high. And they say you Federation types lack the lobes for business. Oh, I understand business very well. Well, since you understand business... Help me escape, and I'll give you a Class M colony planet with tropical beaches for your retirement. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. This is entrapment! No Starfleet officer says he understands business unless he wants a bribe. Who was your customer? He'll send those monsters to kill me. They can destroy cities. Looks like you broke a vital law of acquisition when you sold something that could kill you. I did not. Rule 125, you can't make a deal if you're dead. Wrong. He agreed to never send them against a Ferengi planet. Ha! I win. No, you just confessed. Omag, we're charging you as an accessory to mass murder. What? You knew you were selling a weapon of mass destruction. Your customer killed Atrexians on Prasjag Gamma 3. You have their blood on your hands. <laughs> but I won't tell you who he is unless you drop the charges and release me. Very well. On a planet of my choosing? Of course not. We're not a shuttle service. We'll choose a planet convenient for us. I accept the bargain. He is a captain in the Romulan Imperial Navy. Romulans? What were you thinking? I know. Romulans are usually terribly cheap. Good work, goading him into confessing, Lieutenant. I believe that would be Rule 87. Learn the customer's weaknesses so you can better take advantage of him. You think you won, Monroe, but you have to release me. And I never told you where to find his secret base. Ha! <laughs> he has a secret base? Ha 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 ha! Too late. So, where will you drop me off? Ferenginar? Risa? We will release you on the next planet to be attacked by exomorphs. No, you wouldn't! That way you can inspect the results of your profiteering. Those monsters don't value latinum. I'll be killed. Isn't it the Ferengi dream to die rich? You can't. Goodbye, Omag. His name is Commander Soldok. I'll give you coordinates to his base. 
It's located on the border of the neutral zone just inside Romulan space. Thank you, Omag. Nice doing business with you. I'll inform Starfleet of our new destination. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will arrange a security briefing. What about me? You had better hope your information leads to the location of the Master Control Facility before the Exomorphs attack another planet. You know the rules of acquisition Corbin, well Monroe, for a human. Please join me in the armory. Rule 44. Never confuse wisdom with luck. You got lucky, Monroe. Don't count on it lasting forever. You can't blame me for making money off the Idril and the Romulans. Rule 13. Anything worth doing is worth doing for money. Study the Tetrian gun the Klingon Lorak dropped. You can test it in a special training program on the holodeck. Almost as good as a Klingon! Tuvok to Monroe. Report to the briefing room. Hazard operations. Starfleet has authorized a covert mission to the Romulan base. We will enter Romulan space using a special warp signature code we obtained from a Romulan informant. Lieutenant Monroe and Ensign Gonzalez will beam down to separate locations disguised as Romulans. You will both enter the facility using forged credentials and rendezvous inside. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok? Use your tricorder to track the informant's unique transponder signal. The informant will give you access to the secure data banks. Download the coordinates to the master control facility, then activate your comm beacons and we will instantly beam you out. Aye, sir. Please report to sickbay for surgical alteration. officer that may be my assignment but I'm not happy about it that sounds like a great job why aren't you happy about it it takes me away from the hydroponics bay and my research you'd rather be playing with your plants than having some fun plants provide me with all the fun I need yeah I'm sure they're a riot your kind just doesn't understand oh you mean the human kind whatever see you later dr. green thumb
Deck 8, sick bay. Welcome to sickbay. Ready to become someone else? Let's get started. <laughs> 